Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the case. Now the tragic and unfortunate and violent shooting of 38 year old Mark Webley divided the country. On one hand, Mark Webley from the Grand Canary in Edinburgh was classed as a big time gangster, a man that had been in a relationship with a Euro Millions winner and also a man whom had antagonised rivals and actually brought the shooting on himself when he decided to use his phone and record himself golding known rivals, even telling them he would be at the Anchor Inn pub on New Year's Eve and inviting them to do something, if they were man enough. And then on the other hand, this was a broken man, a real broken man, a man who had serious, serious issues. Think about it. Mark Webley had split up with his ex, whom he had two boys with. Now Mark Webley's ex was then says to have gotten into a relationship with a known rival who was part of another gang on the other side of the city. Again, another known criminal. According to reports, it was one thing for Mark to diss the gangster, now living with his ex, essentially raising his boys also. But things got to the point of no return when Mark decided to diss the Scotland gang boss. Previously, before the shooting, Mark was recording shedding tears when he told his sons he loved them in a the video. He then alluded to the fact that he would not be here long and he wasn't scared. Now no one knows if this was just alcohol talking or if Mark was actually looking to end everything that night. The only thing is certain is that Mark loved his children, his boys, even if you take away the bravado, the ego. It has to be a hard thing to accept a known rival living in the home you once shared with your ex and this man talking and essentially helping to raise your boys. It's got to hurt. And sadly, the end result was Mark Webber was fatally shot outside the Anchor Inn pub on West Granton Road, roughly just before midnight. A man got out of the red Hyundai Tuscan, fired multiple times, struck Mark along with a 39-year-old man. Then the car had driven away. Now Mark was taken to the hospital where he was tragically pronounced dead a short time later. Again, even if he did bring it on himself by recording those videos, at the end of the day, a person still lost their life. And now, two boys will have to contend with the fact that they will never be able to see their dad again. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe.